Today we're going to be looking at an experiment to determine the internal resistance of a cell. The way we're going to do this is with the following circuit. We have a cell which can be represented as a uh, source of EMF with some internal resistance R. And uh, we've connected this to a variable resistor. We also have an ammeter in series in the circuit, and we've also included a voltmeter to measure the terminal PD across the cell. So let's see whether we can formulate how we would do an experiment to determine the internal resistance of this cell. So here is our method to this experiment. First off, we need to vary the resistance of the variable resistor, and this will change the resistance in the circuit. As we're doing that, we're going to be measuring the current in the circuit, I, with this ammeter, and we're also we're going to be measuring the terminal PD using the voltmeter. As always, we're going to make sure to take multiple readings and average in order to improve the accuracy of our experiment. Then what we're going to do is plot a graph of V against I. So that's the terminal PD against the current in the circuit. So after we have plotted our graph, we're going to get a shape similar to the one which I've drawn over here. So this is a straight line with a negative gradient. Let's use y equals mx plus c analysis to see whether we can determine the internal resistance. I'm going to start off with one of the basic equations for the internal resistance. That is that the EMF is going to equal to the terminal PD plus the amount of, of lost volts which, is, which are given by I times R. What I'm going to do after this is just rearrange for whatever is on the y-axis. And in this case, that's the terminal PD. So what we're going to get is that V is going to equal the EMF minus I times R. What I'm going to do is just rewrite this equation for a second. And the way I'm going to rewrite this equation is simply by writing down that V is going to equal minus R times I, like so, plus the EMF. As you can see, those are mathematically equivalent. So plus the EMF here and plus the EMF here, rather than minus I times R, mathematically this is equivalent to minus R multiplied by the current. Notice that this is now in Y equals MX plus C form, so what I can do is just write down Y is equal to MX plus C where M is the gradient and C is the intercept. Very clearly we can see that if V is on the y-axis, which it is, if the current I is on the x-axis, then our gradient, so a gradient M, will be the negative value of the internal resistance, or our resistance will be equal to the negative of the gradient. Notice that this will actually give us a positive value because the gradient is slanting downwards, which means that it's negative, and a double negative will give us a positive. Additionally, the y-intercept, which is just over here, this will actually be equal to the EMF. So our C, our intercept, is equal to the EMF. Okay, folks, so this was a uh, quite a typical A-level practical to determine the internal resistance of a cell. Hopefully this makes sense. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.